All right, in this course, we're going to be looking at enrosques. Enrosques are when we have the leader moving, spinning on one foot while we're in some sort of cross position. So we're going to be looking at different enrosques using the Mingo Pugliese eight count turn. So Mingo Pugliese had enrosques on step two, step four, and step six, three different enrosques. The enrosque on step two lasts for one beat. The enrosque on step four lasts for two beats, and the enrosque on step six lasts for four beats or four steps. And the reason is because it has to do with the back step. At the end of the enrosque, we're going to do a la piece like we did in the medio giro exercise long ago, where we had the leg coming around, finding her foot, and making a parada at the end. And remember that in the in the media luna or media hero uh, exercise, we looked at doing the la piece at the back step. So what we're going to start with is the enrosque on two, and it's a short enrosque. First, leaders, I want you to take a step forward, and you're going to practice doing a 90 degree enrosque. So we'll come up, and we're going to cross our feet behind, left foot behind the right foot, pivot 90 degrees. So we will come up, pivot, and settle down. There's two main ways to do in the rose case. One way is up off of your heels, where you can see my heel comes up. And the other way is more down, where I'm going to be kind of heel really close to the ground. So you can try both of these and feel which one is better for you. Here, on the shorter version, the heel down makes a little more sense, where you're just kind of pivoting with your really close to the ground and grounded. When we're doing longer than rose case, it might be a little bit easier having the you know heel a little taller. But whenever you're that high off of the ground, you know, picking your heel up, you become more uh, tippy. So be very careful when you're doing this, uh, kind of keeping that in mind. All right. So the in the rose case on two. After you've pa paused the video and practice that, practice the step, push to the 90 degrees, and then settle onto your left foot. If you'd like, you can also practice from this point doing a la piece and coming forward with your with your foot. You can try that as as a, as a as an exercise. And when you're ready, we'll hit play and we'll show you the enrosque on two. All right. So the enrosque on two. Remember the, how we went to Mingo's eight count turn long ago. We had this cross and we did a saccata on one and a saccata on two. So she just went forward and then back, or forward and then side. Her next step is a back step, which is why the enrosque only lasts for one beat of the follower. So right now we're both gonna be in about the middle, and then as she transfers her weight to her left foot, I'm gonna transfer onto my right and pivot my hips to the other side, and then here I can jet out with my left foot and then do the la piece to the uh, to the saca to the parada, and then the pasada, and we're back in close embrace. So again, looking at this, we're going to go out to the cross, and one, two, in the rosque la piece, and make the parada. And remember those gears down there, having the feet work together. Invite her up and over, and close. So on two. You're going to think, I'll show you here at this angle, on two, I want to pull my, put my hips pointed there, so to the other side of her. And then I'm going to go straight out and follow or trace a space for her to walk along. I'm kind of tracing the, the circle around me where she's going to be taking the steps. We finish with that parada, and then we have the pasada stepping up and over and coming back to each other. So that is the Ndroske on step two. Practice this, and when you're ready to move on, we will see you in the next video.